Hey, welcome back to Lost Island, everybody. Yeah, I'm Gmo, and today we are going to go for the Artifact of the Devourer. Now, this one is a little bit different. I set up an ocean platform here. Actually, I originally set this one up for um, going for a Mosa. But there's also a Artifact location directly below here. This is the GPS location and the map location for you. And directly below here, there is a sunken ship. Like an old-time uh, military ship. And you can scuba dive down to it. And actually, you can bring a raft over to this location. But since I was farming these artifacts, it was easier for me to just put a one of these nice little um, ocean platforms here, since I had so much resources. And I go down on a my bassy, and I leave the bassy on passive, because there are moses down here, pleosaurs, a lot of megalodons, and occasionally you come across an eel. And I leave this here, because this has got a lot of resources in here that I need. Uh, oh, I'm getting low on axes. I don't know why I'm not. I got plenty of axes in here. Oh, I didn't know I had kibble in here. That kibble's just going to waste. And of course I got artifacts in here from before. <laughs> but uh, let's go down and take a look here. Now I did put I should have put ramps on this, but I just put ladders. Ramps would have been a lot easier to get back in here because a lot of times you are on the run getting back up here. Did I bring the right bassy? Yes, I did. Some of my bassies do not have um what do you call it? Uh, saddles. Well, anyways, the shipwreck you can see is right here. Oh, yeah, there's a Mosa right there. That's only 25. And I do not see any eels, which is a good thing. But all you got to do is go right down here. And the reason I bring a water tame with me is I'm not really using any stamina to come down here. And the artifact is in the front of the ship. So, you bring your water tame down, put it right at the opening here. Oh, I'm going to gamma up so you can see this. Opening's right here. If you can get your water tame out of the way, you can hear it humming. Uh, are you on passive? Yeah. So, in case anything goes to attack, it's going to attack that. And you have to chop through this. I should have actually brought some really good axes. Because I'm burning up my stam right now. If you swim down, you burn up your stam, you can't swim back up. I found that out the hard way. And there it is. Artifact of the Devourer. Just grab that out, swim out the hole, get back on your tame, and you are good to go. And as soon as you're back on your tame, you have stamina again. If I didn't have my tame with me, I'd be screwed, literally. These ocean platforms are wonderful. Uh, Except if you get stuck inside of it. Oh, come on. Alright, we'll do it on the outside. Okay. Thank you very much, baby. Oh. Let's take that bag, whatever's in there. Probably oil. 
But that's how easy it is to get the artifact of devour. As long as you got a water tame, you can, you, like I said, you can make a raft. Because originally that's what I was doing and bring it over. Once you get away from the islands. Oh, let me get this off. I sound like Darth Vader. Once you make yourself a raft and you get away from the island, you're fairly safe from the Litsies, Lixies, however you pronounce those guys, from the killer whales. <laughs> and uh, then uh, you can just take your sweet time. Oh, let me get that kibble out of here. It's just dwindling away to nothing. And just leave it out here. Bring a uh, a PT. Oh, wow. They were coming after us. The swarm. Yeah, there are uh, those giant turtles out here. And I've tried taming them things. And it's just impossible. It was easier to do them on uh, uh, Genesis than it is here. A lot easier. And it's a pain on Genesis. Even with my... Uh, Taming rate being higher, which anyways, um, you can just leave the raft out here and you won't find any of those killer whales out here, those leads, and just leave the raft out here. Bring two rafts with you. One, you can take the ra other raft back, leave a bed on the raft in case something happens to you, and just fly out here on an RG. And then you can just keep farming this artifact every so often. And if you have an otter with you, you can grab two of those artifacts. Well, anyways, if this uh, episode was helpful in any way, hit that like and subscribe button. I would definitely appreciate it. And uh, hit that bell icon so next time I upload, uh, you'll get notified right away. And that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, bye-bye for now.